So you want to learn the double unders. You came to the right place. First of all, you got to be able to jump very well or skip rope very well. You know, you can't be like this. You can't be one, two, three. You got to be able to know how to use your tiptoes. Because once you learn how to do the single unders properly, you're going to realize that it's just a matter of jumping a little higher and being a little bit, just a little bit faster with your wrists. So the first tip will be to, as if you were doing single unders, to own your space. Don't <laughs> stay in the same place and make sure you're very consistent with the timing like this. This is it. Okay. Which means that you'll always be on your toes. And why do I mean this? I, I know you're not going to jump from your heels, but a lot of people do this. Instead of keeping their legs straight, when they go up, they either go like this, and sometimes you land with your heels, or you do what we call the donkey kicks, like this. Which in turn will make you either land with your heels, or even if you don't land with your heels, it'll get you off your track. Stay in the same place. Be in the frame. So here. See? Nice and easy. Okay? Always on your toes. Now, this is the single under height of the jump. When you do double unders, you got to have some more time, mid-air time, for you to do the double turn. This will buy you more time in the air. But in due time, when you have experience or enough experience, you'll be able to do the single under height of the jump with the double unders in the wrist. So don't worry about that for now. Just keep jumping higher. As if you were in a concert, you know, like, whoa, 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 constant in the same place and have some fun with Metallica. Never care for what they know. Now that you've worked on the feet, we're gonna work on the wrists, even without the ropes still. But I do mean wrists and not the arms, because one of the biggest or most common mistakes is gonna be people doing this. And if you try to be rhythmic with this sort of movement, you know, swinging all the way through with your arms, not only will you damage your shoulders because you're very weak in the shoulders, I know, but also you won't be able to keep that rhythmic timing. Remember, double unders is all about music. So try the error with me, like this. One, two, three, four. Dude, you have to be flash in order to be able to get this while you're jumping. So it's much easier to just do this. One, two, three. Do it with me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Much, much easier. The wrist does the whole work. And when you're doing it with a rope, remember, feel the tension of the rope. If you feel the slack, it's no use going like this. You have to feel the tension of the rope, feel the weight of the rope on your hands, and you'll be much better at doing this. Now, when you gather both feet and hands, it's gonna look something like this. So while you're jumping, while you're mid-air, papa, 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 it's all about the rhythm. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when you get the rope now, give me the rope. When you get the rope, I will advise you to first do single unders, do maybe five and then one double under. Yeah. Try to keep in the same place. Bah. I know you're gonna do something like this at first. It's okay. Keep doing it. I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Keep working. Experience will be determinant. Now let's try to do continuous double unders, but here's a tip already before you begin. Think that you have really, really annoying neighbors. Those that if you just do this, they're gonna call the cops. So you can't make any sound for the below. So I'm guessing here's how it's gonna look in the beginning when you try to do continuous double ends. You're gonna look something like this. Still swinging a lot. So be wary of the wrist. Be wary of the donkey kicks, no go. Be wary of the no sound, okay? And relax. If you relax, it's much better. Because if you make a big deal out of this, you're not gonna be able to relax and get a notion of where the rope actually is during the movement. So try to get all those pointers together. How's it going then? Have you worked on it for a while? 
Everything okay? But still 70%, right? Still 70 to 80%, which means that you probably can do already like six, seven, or even eight double unders, but you can't reach 10. I know, I've been through it. That means your rhythm gets shot after a couple of jumps. So I got a great exercise, a great drill for you. Check it out. No rope. If only I knew this exercise when I started. It seems so silly, but it's so simple. Some people just can't get in touch with the tune. Some people don't have music in their lives. So the more you do this, see, I missed one. The more you do this, the more you understand the rhythmic key for the whole thing. It's all about the music. Because once you know, and you have the rhythm, and you have everything set, and you, can't still, and you still can't do 10 repetitions of double unders, that means you're probably not in tune with the right tune. So be patient, work hard. You're probably gonna go through all of these little mistakes, identify them, feel them a little bit, and then change each one at a time. And one day you'll be able to go to the next level.